Hello and welcome back to Wolf and Friends Gaming. I'm Wolf and today we're here with Valhalla and this is the fourth or fifth time I'm trying to record this and I don't want to go through this again. No. Bad. Bad game. Anyways, load in. No, let's sit. Yeah, let's save. No, load. Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. Jukebox, I don't care. This all seems good. Let's go. All done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. I insist that sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like some heavy-duty tool. Also, there's something going on outside my dorm. If any of the sound gets caught, I'm sorry about that. You're a heavy-duty tool. Yes, I am. Wait, that... Damn it. No, oh, welcome back. I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey, bartender, what did that noise just sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Not you two. Eh, do you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I say it's a backfire. It's a gunshot. Firecrackers! See, the sun's been going on all night and we can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um, who is he? Gillian, nice to meet you. I don't know, you have more of a John face. Where was he last weekend? I don't know and I don't care. You already made amends for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell, I'll have a beer too. Two beers. Here you go. Thank you. Man, after work, beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill, that's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Uh, creamy. Please don't wake her up. Do you, regular, do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you be saying that with at least 6k people listening? Let them hear, I don't care. 6k people? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her live 24-7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. I don't know if it's the same person. So 6,000 people are watching and hearing us. Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera's against the table. I don't know how many are still on the channel, though. I see. So there will be a lot more witnesses if something is said. Do any of you have a criminal past? Nope. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. What did you do? Painted graffiti outside of my high school saying Miss Thompson's a cunt. Why'd you do that? Because Miss Thompson was a cunt. She constantly humiliated whoever got her questions wrong. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of, sus of suspension and had to clean the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So how's stuff up at Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's that textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Oh, yeah, that one. We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva everywhere. Oh? But anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee and she showed the higher up some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing pro production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know. But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see, I'll have a Brantini. Two Brantinis, then. You have such a wimpy taste in drinks deal. Not all of us spent their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You missed nothing. Sometimes I wish I'd go back in time and kick myself. Hmm. Something on your mind? That girl that's designing the clothes. Laura, what about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cutie category so well that it's almost painful. So cliche that I can't help but cringe when looking at her. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliche, you just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. Kick? Betty, I didn't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why'd you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. 
apparently unprovoked her due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine, guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential, and I'm not going to let her waste it. Jill, I'm gonna go check the antenna on the roof. Alright. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope, I'm just the veterinarian. The dogs are the ones that organized the meeting with her. I'd say she's real good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of charm. <laughs> what do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or skirt would fit her better. Hmm? Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn, she has nice hearing. I mean, you're in a small bar, Jill. How far did she walk? Now that I think about it. You have that hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based just on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You made that sound like I'm some sort of creep. I did? What did you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. I'm a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. Now is it really? Well, the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I had to say. Like, you'd like to see that scenario. You're thinking too much. What do you think about Jill- about Gil, then? He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. Heh <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by so by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have it. You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste in drinks. But thank me later, trust me. Then, two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Now drink. <clears throat> oh, man up. You'll get used to it. Hey, Joel, someone ever proposed to you as a prank? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I've played this thing like four times because roommates kept entering. So now that they're finally gone, I'm finally getting closer to where I last was. You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank. Jill. Jill, you're spacing out. <laughs> First year of high school. The guy I had eyes on for a whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I got to go to the, I go to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't that they set me up, rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later, just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it all happened, I felt nothing. I confirm my suspicion that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. But in doing so, future generations will thank us. Anyway, why the question? Hey, piece of scrap. Yeah? These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Uh, um... I was asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me on the, the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Uh, so just telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just about a nonsense based on what you've told me. Don't pay too much attention. I'm just a lonely barkeeper. <laughs> it's better than my suggestion. What was yours? I think it was a kicker. <laughs> it's waterboarding. <laughs> Let's see. What? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me most. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody making a fuss about that. And that's the kind of Girl Scouts we need. Where they actually te they teach you actual good things for survival. You know what Boy Scouts do. They should be on somewhat equal footing instead of one focusing on one, the other focusing on another subject. And that's why there's that's why like a long time ago there was so much I guess backlash is the word about Boy Scouts not admitting girls into the Boy Scouts, even though it is in the name. But yeah your advice sounds good enough. <laughs> Especially when you factor that if Gina's being honest about it, she probably won't feel offended. Gina, which one was that again? Blonde, flies a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's a, that's the one. Well, it's getting late, we should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Joe. Bye. Please come again. Back. 
I don't know what I'm doing with Jay, with Jay and his voice now. Those damn cats waiting with the internet antenna. Oh yeah, Gil, some guy said I should tell you that the bunny the bunny's late. Whatever that means. Oh shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. Yeah, yeah, we already do that anyways. Shouldn't we be worried? I think we as a kid that tells us outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe I can finish watching that Digeridoo tutorial. Hello, Joe. Ah, Stella, you're here for another drink today? Not really, I was just around the neighborhood and... Right. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected in my house. I thought someone who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. I, I don't know what to say, thanks. Well, it's nothing, really. This just in. That's right, I got, like, past this part. The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank... Oh, God, say! I wonder if she'll be alright. Ah, hello, Jamie. I guess the news is just muted now. Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? The news flash just ended. I'm gonna change the channel. To no signal. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gil turned off just a minute ago, though. Let's see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Jamie wants some Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. My thoughts have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? And again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. Be honest, I can't leave him myself. Hey, who's this girl? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24 7. I'm guessing her equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Thanks for the advice. Changing the subject a bit, have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I heard that a supersonic drone was undergoing tests and lost its course. That might be it. Ah. Hey boss, explosion was caused by supersonic drones! <laughs> that sounds better than firecrackers! We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, I see. Sonic booms are not sounds people can normally identify. And this one drone made a lot of noise from breaking the sound barrier. It's an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not. It makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Huh? Man, I'm like Gil was here to hear that info. He thought they were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've just kind of become used to it. He can be a troublesome person, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? This isn't the first time a bank is closed like that, but something is off about this. Off? How? I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it's the hour, or it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink out of it. That's something just over making it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? A girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but Never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Let's meet a beer. Let's keep it simple. I would said that beer played an important part in humanity's history, no notably through the 1930s. Yeah, I feel like the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped foster bonds and build faction alliances. And the Nords. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Phil, have you ever thought about brain uploading? Brain uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself and effectively that new someone's in cyberspace. You will still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not you somewhere? That's an interesting point. It used to be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine if your cyber safe self found out about the real you somehow. Hell, imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of yourself in different situations. Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. That is a w interesting... ...science... ...experiment. I guess it's kind of heartbreaking in a way. 
Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain into the ether, only to find out their physical bodies are still alive and here, instead of living in a place where there is no disease. I remember an article from a while back about the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scare the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. They used the words, burn the brain. Ouch. All for nothing because the data would be corrupted or broken. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they started another project about living brains in jars or something after that. That subject interests you, huh? Well, I mean, I've always wanted to take Hitler's brain and put it in a shark. It makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Say, Mary, always a pleasure. Say hello to Gillian for me when he comes back. Please come again. Phew, all done. You want to stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Quite, yeah, quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, ordered a nano camo module for my apartment. Should be installed by now. Nano camo? Isn't that a tad expensive? Yep, to be honest, I asked my mom for it. She had been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking that for four years now, and I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her for it. Used up all the past gifts. Oh. It was a bit weird to ask her parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So what would the nano camera module change from your apartment? I got the basic plan, walls and one piece of cloth, so I picked my kotatsu too. You have a kotatsu? You know what a katat you know what a kotatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed you know what it is. I have no idea what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a kotatsu, not so much. Yeah, well, days get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. <laughs> Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah? No more dancing. I'm tired. What do we do with her? Oh, I say we just dump her in the river. <laughs> I'll just care about everything, don't worry. By the way, do you know where the nearest river is? Alright, sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Get a nice wall pattern or something for you. Follow service bonus. Not granted. Why is that? Because of the stupid I want a drink for $80. <laughs> First mistake, and I hate that guy so much. Okay, you have no new notification store. Sweet. Nothing new in the world. Do you want to buy a fan? Even though it's winter, buying one will prevent her from getting distracted. You can I use a nano camera to customize your room? So. Let's shop. So, you wanted a fan. Okay, so this is the fan. Alright. How much you? Let's, uh, I'll, just, I'll just buy it. I can screw it. Alright, I'll keep 791. Oh, it's Neko. Ah, let's try one of those things. So, return. I brought everything. Okay, so, how do I use the nano camel? Na the nano camel! What's the nano camel? <laughs> What's a nano camel? Something to liven up things in this room. Where are you, Nano Camo? Oh, there you go. Whoa, that's interesting. Nano Camo app, incredible. About. It's a company founded in 2068 and pioneer of the nano machine fabric capable of real-time texture swap. We need that in 2068 then. Meant for military use, we bring our products to the general public at the most affordable prices. Sweet. Mascot. Camo Tan is our mascot. She's designed by a veteran character designer from Su from Sukaban Games. Kirin51. Sukaban. Way to throw yourself in this game. Birthday 24 either 01 or 07. Can't really tell. That's the same. So, uh, body, I'm guessing 85. Height, 90. Weight, 65. Or it's base width height for some reason. Likes Musashi, Battleship, Tactical Fashion, and Peach Cake. Alright. Customize. They're all. Okay. Table. Woo! Table prints. So the set one is that. The walls, however, let's. There we go. Oh, shit. Wait, what the? Oh, wow. I won't press rat. Whoa! So these two are the game. I now I need to save up for these two. Mainly, I guess one of these two though. That one just seems funny. 
So, no new notifications either, except you lied to me and I have one, Perry. Okay. Alarms rise at the Apollo Trust Bank. Suffers terrorist attack. Updating. Kimberly Lavalette. Hijack screens at downtown Casanova announce what seems to be a terrorist threat aimed at the Apollo Trust Bank. The information suggests that the currently unidentified bomber is already inside the building. Hope to say it's alright. The White Knights Counterterrorism Unit responded to the threat immediately. However, the bank was then locked down by an external network attack. We might be dealing with a dual threat here, CTU's Chloe Bauer told AE. The bank has been sealed shut using its own disaster prevention system. However, none of the terminals at the bank were working at the time. The building is basically sealed at this point. The hostages are trapped. Oh boy, that's not good. Augment and I is being attacked. Oh no, how good. Thank God I don't pay these fuckers for a sub. We take this security seriously here at the Augmented Eye, and we have the obligation to disclose the recent articles on Alice Rabbit were vandalized by who we think is Alice Rabbit themselves or Gear Impersonator. We want to extend our apologies and inform that we'll be limiting our coverage of Alice Rabbit to just factual news and not entertainment pieces. Sincerely, the AE staff. Pollution to reach historic levels. <laughs> How long until someone says pollution is good? There's a book. Kimberly Love Lit again. Even though most countries in the world have adapted their economies to solve the ongoing problem of climate change, Glitch City still relies on ancient technologies in order to keep costs low with profits high. As a result of this backwards policy, it seems as though we'll be experiencing a huge increase in air pollution next year. Our contamination levels will force the, will force the whole population to move away from a lot of areas within the city. The soil is dying at an alarming pace, said experts in a report. Good source, that is. Having to buy raincoats and having to buy special raincoats and umbrellas does suck, but I just say you better get used to it. Oh, I can't even turn the fan on, that's dumb. And then for danger you oh, white knight just beat me up, oh no. I'm fucking crying right now, let me tell a story. Waiting for OP to deliver. I'm here anyway, here it goes. I was going home after buying groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had to line up for hours just to buy milk. When I'm finally out there, a group of three white knights stopped, stopped me and started asking for my ID. I just wanted to see my back to check if I wasn't a scalper. And once I saw everything was in order, they asked me for a military service ID and just, what the fuck? Why would I have that on me? And there's no enforced cons cons conscription anymore. It doesn't make sense. Because I didn't have it on me, they asked for money or else they'd plant drugs on me. I, of course, refused, but they'd lose their patience and one of them... Hit me right in my temple with a gun. I was bleeding like crazy on the floor, so they just took my groceries and left. Oh shit, man, I fucking hate this place. I hate it so much, I want to leave this fucking hellhole. I'm so tired of this fucking shit every day. This store is closed. <laughs> Streaming chant tired. Oh no. You want to see last night's escapade? She was at the Valhalla bar. It was alright. Bartender was a cutie, but man, is she full of herself. <laughs> man, it sounds shady when they put it that way. The. Yeah. Don't care, I'm going next week and ask her for a date. We all know you won't. Pretty sure nobody here has the guts to ask someone out. She's still sleeping. Yeah, the bartender has been telling everyone they need to be careful with their words. I wonder if there's illegal activity going on there. Like, why would they need to be careful with what, they, with what you say? Maybe they're avoiding casual racism. True, still, it wouldn't be rare for them to do shady stuff. This fucking city, haha. <laughs> at, least, at least she's sleeping now. Last time I saw her taking some rest was about a week ago. Crash is one hell of a drug. Hollow Bank is getting attacked, and no one is reporting on What the hell? Are you actually surprised? Considering the nature of their threats, it's clear that Quincy doesn't want to take the blame. What a fucking coward. Do we have any sources there? I'm posting from the site. Looks like someone's inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. Any demands? They want Quincy to quit, and then White Knight expanded. Wow. So they're actually helping the protesters? Um, that's not the way to help people. What if this is just a huge false flag to blame the opposition? I wouldn't be surprised. This fucking place. LOL. Let's wait for more info. The thread is now closed. May the gods guide say to safety. To safety up. Uh, I just wanted to hear that. Anyways, let's save. Fucking there it is. Life back up. Save. Oh yeah, right on the zeros. I'm getting better at this. So yeah. Uh, I'm getting. Keep tr gonna keep transitioning from Valhalla and Princess Maker of Fine. However, I have a lot more projects I need to work on. Finals coming up. Things might be delayed a bit. Plus, I also have roommates and only two or three days to myself at max. So, yeah. 
Hopefully I can keep recording these games. They're really fun. I like where I like Jill. I like where Valhalla is going. I like taking care of Molly and Princess Maker are fine. But until then, I'm Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.